Are you a prospective college student? Are you interested in applying to the University of Rochester or already got in? Are you surprised about the lack of information about first year housing? <laughs> then you've come to the right place. What's the sense in sharing this one and only lie? Ending up just another lost and lonely wife. You count up the years and they will be filled with tears. Love only breaks up. In this video, Khalil and I would be covering the two dorms on the first year hill, which comprises Susan B. Anthony Hall and Genesee Hall. Subi houses 600 first years, and Jenny, which was built in 2017, houses 150 first years. And note that we're not going to be covering the first year quad, mainly because we forgot to get enough footage of it before the school year ended. We'll begin a brief tour in Jenny, covering Khalil's triple room with double assignment, and my double room with triple assignment. We'll then highlight Jenny's posh bathroom situation, which is one of its primary selling points. We'll next move on to our tour of Subi, covering our friends Oishi and Jesse's double room with double assignment. We'll conclude the tour with bonus coverage of our friends Giuliani and Ariel's double room with double assignment. The room layout at the time of recording was particularly unique as you'll see, so we thought it'd be cool to include. Alright, so let's begin with Khalil and Michael's triple room. Alright, you're probably gonna get one of these. So in the inside... And I swear we had a messy for realism. This is our room. Didn't bother to clean. I frequent this room all the time, kind of like a community hub because look, you're about to see, look at how big this place is. No, it's massive. For two people, it's really big. So this is my bed and this is my uh, roommate Michael's bed. And then we kind of decided to share this space with pretty much everything, I don't know. But we're able to fit a TV in here with like a gaming system. You're gonna get these dresses when you come here. But I put stuff in here and then I put my shoes in the middle. Um, and then I have like all my storage tubs in the back there, if you can kind of see. Right now I've got a tub in there, sorry. But um, you can fit like a bunch of hangers with a bunch of clothes in here. And this is the dresser space, so make plans. If you have a bunch of clothes, you're a fashionista. Like it's from like here to here, and you can, I don't know, fit 20 pairs of jeans, 16. <laughs> I'm not gonna give an amount, cause I don't know. So we have two dressers. Most of the rooms in Genesee come with a mirror. Um, which has like a sink and stuff like that. But we also have bathrooms with those same amenities as well as like just sinks in the bathroom area. This is me and this is my mirror. I suggest you get a mirror. Body length mirror has been a good investment. I'm not gonna lie. So we're about to go to my room. Genesee 609, it's a legendary room. We got, unlike Khalil's room as you saw like two minutes ago, we're in a forced triple, meaning we have a double room, but we have a triple assignment. Look at all these post-its on the wall. Unfortunately, you have to take some down because of the fire department people. But first thing you notice is how colorful this room is. Largely, in fact, due to Nolan Goldthwaite. We got his stereo speaker set up, his lights. These post-its were as a result of unlocking my door for the for the fall break. So kids, please lock your door or else you have post-its everywhere. Let me turn off the main lights to show you what the room looks like. I'm about, I don't know how tall I am, 5'10-ish. It's ample room for three people. I feel like it's very vertical. Um, and for triple assignment, you're gonna have three cabinets, but it doesn't feel cramped. It's supposed to be a double. Yeah. But my posters fell there, up there, and then I got some food. And I got storage room under the bed, and that's about it. We got the, the speakers I brought, some fun music things. That's where I do most of my schoolwork. And then over here, some drawings I've done, as well as racing numbers um, from my races from college. Mm. Got my bed. I got my freshly acquired varsity letter. Uh, got some plants. Yeah. And then this is my side of the room. So we have Nighthawks, and then we have uh, Wander above the Sea of Fog, I think is the name of it. And then we get a cross, and then we have Frank Ocean, and then we have Pilgrim that Nolan made, and a couple pictures from Korea using the cup, so you know you know. Out of the cabinet, I just have this miscellaneous stuff, toothbrush and whatnot. Got my weighted blanket that I wear even in the summertime. So Menace. in every Genesee room, you're gonna get one of these things under your beds. There are these like drawer thingies, and you have four of them per bed. So for this one, I just have my camera gear, and I got my shoes in here. Enough for three pairs of shoes. I'm a size 11. I got some blankets in there, and I got towels in there. Yeah, and yeah, 
Noah and I play guitar, so we have some music stuff lying around. We got guitars, Noah's amp, wow. a bunch of cables. We got some, some more amps, some speakers, some interfaces. More than enough space for everything. Yes, sir. So basically, if you get Genesis, you don't need to worry at all. Do you know why? There's air conditioning in my bed. I have full control right here, yeah. and then the view as well on this yeah. side of the building. Yeah. yeah. So we're right above the track mm -hmm. and the football field, so you can watch athletic events on the weekends. Some of the rooms are singles, and they have their own bathroom, and then. Others are just singles. Alright, cool. So one cool thing about campus is that we have a lot of these cool like, water stations. The school loves sustainability. So, Genesee specifically, don't get your hopes up. If you get Genesee, congrats. But we all have like individual bathrooms and we have like six individual bathrooms. I want to come and take a So we have vacant signs for the Genesee bathrooms. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me oh. Love that. In here, it's very nice. We got a sink, standard sink, soap that's always filled. A mirror, a nice light, a hook. The hooks on the other bathrooms look better. I don't know about this one, but toilet, toilet paper. This, just a tip if you're living in Genesee, this bathroom on this side, the water takes very long <laughs> to become warm. So I prefer these two. Mm. I doubt they're gonna change the nozzles for the next year, but this nozzle is more like misty, you know? You have like wide surface area. That one is like warmer. Actually, no, both of them are warm. Can confirm. If you want to feel some, I don't know, resistance from the water, you're just yeah. like, I'll feel the water. Oh wait, and isn't there a thing about like which floor you're on to how much water you get? I've heard of that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Water pressure I heard is better downwards. Yeah, so if you get maybe like floor five or uh, floor four, then good water. But not as good vibes as Jenny Six. Oh. Mm -hmm. so that's where we came in from. And then I'll do the same thing with the bathroom. And then what is it? Yeah. It is because there's seven floors in Genesee, right? And they just choose the sixth floor for no reason, it's not even a good number. And seven floor, we poop a lot, okay? So I don't understand why they chose us. Is it because we're men? Is that it? Is it because we're men? I'm, <laughs> I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. We're so. not all guys all the way. Yeah, yeah. And you know what I do? Only me. I use a bathroom. So this is one of the bigger bathrooms. And um, so there's a lot more space in them, which I don't like. Um, and then, so this is the showers. You got like the shower curtains. These, this one is really weird because it has like so many. I don't know. I've always thought that was strange. This one, it has like the standard sink that's in the other bathrooms and the paper towels and all that. There's just a lot of space to work with. So like, it's weird show accessible. If anybody is coming here with a wheelchair, we've already thought about you. So you're all good to go. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of wheelchair. Pretty much everywhere is wheelchair accessible on campus. I yes. Believe. Um, so that shouldn't be a problem. All right, Tristan, so hard hard before you explain like, like who you are. I'm Khalil and Josh's best friend. Molecular bio, I live there. So what's been your experience at the University of Rochester so far? Depression, basically. There's this like silent zone room, right? Mm -hmm. In the library. It used to be silent. It's not silent anymore. Now I'm sad. <laughs> okay, okay. So what, I, I would say that one thing that's really good about Genesee is like, it's really easy to socialize with the people around your floor because mm. you see, it's like only straight, right? Mm. So whenever people leave the room, you can see like their face. So like at the beginning of the year, you're gonna see them leave the room. Look at them, like leave the room. You can like actually start talking to me. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's the good thing about Gen Z. Bro, look at these guys. Our hall is basically linked by one glue and that glue is called Walid the D. If we didn't have Walid as our RA, actually this hall is like so boring. So, Gen C, what color is uh, glue? Our view from Gen 6 is really nice actually. We have a staircase that goes up to the 7th floor um, with lights that turn on as you walk into them. And we have an elevator as well. Yeah, our view is really nice though. We have the field over there. Rush Resort is over there. Douglas is over there. Wilson Commons is over there. The GAC or the Gergen Athletic Center is over there. The freshman quad is down on that hill. But we are blessed to be in this amazing hall. Yes. But yeah, it's pretty much what Genesee 6 in particular has to offer. Sometimes strangers come into our hall because it's such a, such a popular hall. Hey, do you want to come back up? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> this one's for Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so we're in Morgan 3 of Subi, it looks like. Oh, what a what a fancy looking door. Crypto chest. Ace? What does this mean? Oh my god. Hi guys. Yo. What's up? I'm Oishi. 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 And shoe rack, highly suggest because if you don't have a shoe rack, your shoes get messy. You could box them up, but honestly, I think that's inconvenient and takes up unnecessary space. Mm -hmm. We share this between us two roommates. Then we have a little food pantry over here. We got pasta. We got we got sauce somewhere in there, chips, and more snacks. This is my roommate's side. Her name is Jessie. I miss her very much at the moment. She has some cute little posters up on the wall. Definitely, you know, decorate, decorate. Definitely decorate, but just make sure that like you use some adhesive that wouldn't like peel off the paint. But like also, if just 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 lie and say it never happened if it does happen. Um, <laughs> this is her shower caddy. I read somewhere that like the these ones like catch, like get moldy. I don't really know. I think she's chilling with this, so you can you can choose. You can choose. Um, we have a nice little carpet here. Um, if you do get a carpet, be prepared for like fuzz balls, be prepared for lint, be prepared for all that stuff. So maybe get a vacuum. Um, but we have a small one, it's pretty low maintenance. We have like a mini vacuum over there. Uh, this is again Jessie's side, her bed. We got some lighting. The lighting here, so she brought a lamp. This is a type of lamp that is like allowed in Susan B, like in Sue B. Okay. You need a full lamp mirror. Like, you know, going out, you need to do a fit check. You need to make sure you don't look crazy, like going to the school and stuff. Bathrobe, I have one too, but important, especially in the winter. You don't want like, it's gonna be cold and you're coming out of the shower and like walking back. And sometimes, you know, you don't want towel slips, bathrobe, solve that problem, you know. So, especially in the co-ed halls like this one. I can only speak for my hall, but our hall, like, before we got along, no one was weird. Um, one piece of advice we got straight up from our RAs was not to date people in your hall, because if it ends badly, you, you, they're your neighbor. Our hall worked out, like, we all helped each other. Like, my neighbor was, like, my C my computer science, like, workshop leader, and he, like, helped me, and, like, I don't know, we all had fun. We, like, traded, like, food and stuff, and we had a good, friendly neighborhood. I think co-ed helps versus, like, it being just one gender. Like, I feel like... Guys are, I don't know, like, if it's just an all-guys hall, I feel like that can get kind of rowdy. And, like, if it's all girls, I feel like it can get messy, like, the bathrooms and stuff. Like, I don't know. I can't, I can't speak on that. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to say um, to the freshmen coming in? Um, okay. I, in all honesty, did dread coming here and could not be more, like, surprised, pleasantly surprised. Whatever you're worried about right now, I promise you, it's gonna get better and like literally just give it a shot. You're gonna meet some of the best people you'll ever meet in your like life here at Rochester because people are so down to earth. People are so nice. I made such great friends including Khalil and Josh. So if it helps, like pretty much everyone else is in the same boat. Like pretty much everyone else is thinking the same way as you and like everyone's just looking for friends. Everyone's just, you know, looking for comfort. Rochester has great things coming. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I actually wanted to be an actress when I was younger. Hey guys, my name is Giuliani. I am a bio major here at the U of R, and I'm a first year. Hi, I'm Ariel. I'm a first year at the U of R, and I'm a double major in language, media, communications, anthropology. Welcome to our dorm! So, this week is Big Little Week for all sororities here on campus. I am in Sigma Delta Tau, and my roommate Ariel is in Gamma Phi Beta. So they come in every single day whenever they have time and they go ahead and decorate their beds and give us a bunch of little treats. Today's theme for my sorority was Vane. So I got like a bunch of like face masks, like stuff I use like in my day to day stuff. Transition. <laughs> we can come over here on Ariel's side. So she got, she has this beautiful pink and a like, bunch of nice little t-shirts. I have this t-shirt. Mm -hmm. This is Guava. Um, we don't have a name for this thing yet. I kind of looks like a boy, you want to see one? This is Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> like Pink Floyd. Ah. Sigma Delta Tau was founded March 25th, 1917. It was founded at Cornell University by uh, seven Jewish women who felt like they weren't being accepted by the sorority life on their campus. Although Greek life was a huge part 
of Cornell's campus life at this time. Mm -hmm. So they took it like matters into their own hands and they started their own sorority with the basis of like inclusion and just belonging. A bunch of my friends like do Greek life here and they've talked about how um, much more relaxed it is and how it's not that big. Only about 20 like percent of the student body does it. Mm -hmm. So it's really like optional. It's not like Greek life or nothing. I think like, yeah, Rochester is like something for everyone. For sure. Wait, so all these people are in? Yeah, they're all the upperclassmen. Mm, interesting. You know, we're like crossing off, guys. I promise it's not like personal. <laughs> yeah, is it like they're dead or something? Like, no, no, no. Josh, yes, sir. you being here? Yes, sir. What you gonna What you gonna rate this room, buddy? This is a really interesting looking room. I mean, we have all these flyers. We have all these balloons. We have these LED lights. It's looking real nice. Shall I dare to give this a nine? <gasps> Ooh. Okay. It would be a 10 if this thing was on the ceiling. So they took it down because it was on the ceiling before. Oh. But it's really heavy, so they're like, okay, like, look at hazard. Like, because I would have fell on me if I was sleeping. <laughs> but, like, look at the canopy. Thank you for letting us tour your door. Like, yeah, what? like you are oh, a door. You are a door. Like, you are a door. Like, like are a door. Okay, well, thank you guys for stopping by. Absolutely. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're an incoming freshman and you play the instrument or you sing, or even if you're not an upcoming freshman, we run a club with alongside our uh, friend Nate called U Rochester underscore RPM on Instagram. It's just called RPM on campus where we do shows, events, we do workshops. What else do we do? Uh, that's it. That, yeah, that's <laughs> it. Anyways, here's some footage. Like, oh. So it's gonna be part of that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.